Queen's Gambit declined, Catalan opening. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. By using the e-pawn to protect the key d5 pawn, e6 rejects the queen's gambit. nf3 supports the d4 pawn and puts pressure on the e5 square. nf6 develops the knight, supports the d5 pawn, and controls the e4 square. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This prevents a rival bishop's check. This exchange is fair. Backs off. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. It is the final book action. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This misses a chance to use a pawn to attack the center. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses a material threat. That's good. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to win material. It is a great move. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. There is a better approach to provide an equal exchange of pieces than this. It is incorrect. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. This poses a queen winning danger. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. It's all right. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. 
a pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. It was an incredible middle game by both players.